right guys, test ride day out before my iron butt challenge. So I put everything on the bike last night just because I, I couldn't wait. I was too anxious. I wanted to know if everything would fit and plus I wanted to take it to work today and I didn't have enough. I never allow myself enough time in the morning to be able to pack it all. So I packed it all last night and I'm on the way to work. So once I'm finished, I'll pull off on the side of the road, probably by the lake. It's more enjoyable over there. And then show you everything that I have packed in this motorcycle because guys, I'm not riding a touring style bike. I'm riding my little 883 Sportster for this challenge and it comes with some drawbacks, um, but I am the most comfortable on this bike. So it just, it makes sense. Yes, I'm gonna have to take more frequent stops just because of my little peanut tank here, but that's okay. I feel like that's totally fine because it'll help me space things out. I've got 17 stops, that's it. That's all I have to look at it from now, 17 stops. Technically it's 16 because my first stop is my start to the ride. But nonetheless, I yeah, just want to show you guys how I'm all packing everything in here because it's filled to the max. And I'm chancing it because literally everything today looks like rain. But same thing for tomorrow too. It's just good practice, hopefully. I'd just rather not get wet on the way to work. Alrighty, let's get to the fun part. We are going to hurry home and I will do this from the garage because yeah, <sighs> I don't want to get any more wet. All right, it's enough. Okay guys, take two, because apparently the first go around, my GoPro was still pretty wet from the rain <laughs> coming home. So it did not record any of my audio, unfortunately. So I gotta do this all over again, but practice makes perfect, right? So let's get to it. I wanted to give you guys a rundown of how I packed everything on my bike for this iron butt challenge. We'll start up at the front. Um, of course I got my windshield on here. I've got the cramp buster option. Sorry if you hear the rain. <laughs> it's coming down pretty hard now. Um, but I've got the cramp buster here and I've had this on for at least three weeks now and absolutely love it. Um, very helpful for that sake, just because I don't, I don't trust that throttle lock that makes me nervous. So my phone will go here and then at the GoPro session, um, will go in its spot where it normally goes as well. So those are pretty much the front area of it. I was going to put the eye pass on my windshield, but for some reason they provide you stickies that do not stick. I don't understand. So I'm going to throw it in the front part here when I need um, to go through Illinois and use that toll because it said it had to be on your windshield, on your handlebars, on your gauges, or on your tank. So this is pretty visible. If you're coming from above, they'll be able to see it. So I'm going to keep that guy in there. We'll move on to tank bag area. So this is small enough for my bike and I think it fits pretty well with it. I don't need too much on here. I don't like to have a lot of crap up at the front, but I need some of these essentials to be able to reach right away. So I've got this guy mounted on here in the front part. I've just half my small DGI Osmo pocket. This I will use at the gas stops just to record any of the video so I don't have to take my phone off of it, redo apps or anything like that so I can record. I don't know if you guys can see it. Record myself doing some of these videos that way. So that'll be up in the front so I can easily access it. And then I also have my checklist of what to do at every single stop to make sure I'm not missing any steps. So every time I get off the, get off to get gas, I'm going to take my helmet off. It's just, it'll be a nice refresher. Um, I'll connect with my GPS routing 
um, map just to check in with that to make sure it's verified for the certification. Fill up with gas, double check the receipt, then mark the odometer meeting or reading and the spot number that I'm at. So I have 17 spots technically for my iron butt and then woo, it's really coming down now. Um, take a picture of the receipt, stretch, and then peel off the next location, which means I had originally planned, and this is my pencil holder, which will house everything in here. I originally planned to do all of these painters tape to put on the front part of my tank to peel off, but the plastic on here has started to get some of the stickiness of the painters tape, and it makes me nervous. <laughs> to put this on my bike, especially if you add water and dirt and everything else to it. I just don't want to wreck the anniversary um, paints on here more than I am with my with my tank bag. So I'm just going to keep it on here and peel off when I need to to do my check-ins. Just just will help me as far as numbers go. Of course, I've got all of my verification stuff in here and then my gas receipts will go in this guy just to keep everything organized. All housed in there, front and center, and then everything else in this guy is electronic wise. So I've got my stand for the GDI Asmo, my backup Senna, two GoPro batteries with the charger and the Hero Session 5 charger the battery packs and of course the cell phone um, charger as well including my um, headlamp too because it's pretty bright if I need to access anything dark wise that's a good go-to and then I've got my orgasm earplugs that will just contain in here if I'm not using it but most likely I will use them for the entire length so that is that guy zips up pretty nice and fast and then this front little pocket here will house my um, wallet which I have in my backpack right now let's go back in here um, ibuprofen hydration um, pucks just to give a little flavoring for water um, hand sanitizer because COVID <laughs> and then my toll bunny for there so that's the front part of the tank bag and of the bike. Um, hydration bladder will go pretty much right on me when I start my challenge. So that's just kind of laying there to remind myself. Moving on to the back part of my bike. So I've got saddle bags kind of separated into categories. So this side of my saddle bags will house all of my motorcycle accessories and then some of the stuff that I may need to use right away. So of course today would be a great day to utilize this but I don't want to get it wet. I have to dry it out, air it out and use it in here or throw it back in here when it's wet. So rain gear for tomorrow because it's not when or it's not if it's when I get rained on because the forecast is calling for rain unfortunately so I've got bug slide and um, towel because of those lovely bugs that get on helmet and windshield just to clear off if it is does get really really bad of course my luminade um, light I've got the air pump in here the tire replacement bag all of the other accessories that I showed you on the dining room table yesterday everything is going to be housed in here if I need to access it so that is this side of the saddle bags I got some room yet to throw the hydration bladder in here if I don't want to um, use it at any point oh man I don't want to break the thing so and then this back part here will house all of my motorcycle tools along with an extra bungee cord if I need to tack on anything else. So there's screwdrivers, there's adjustable wrenches in here, there's the multi-tool kit, a bunch of the stuff that I may need to work on the bike. Fingers crossed I don't have to, but it's all accessed here. Then I have the bug out bag in the saddle bag on this side. So let me take off the rock strap here quickly. This is coming handy pretty well, for its sake, but I'll just take it off for now. So in this bug out bag, it's kind of worked in layers. So this top part here has the hand warmers and toe warmers if I need to use them. And then the, 
I'm laughing every time I pull this out, but I most likely will probably wear this is um, the biking padded shorts in here. So if I need to change up comfort level, that's in that guy here. I have um, nothing in this part here, but this guy houses just the extra base layers if I need to layer up for the evening. So long sleeve and leggings. And then this next part here has my snacks because I tried to put them in my tank bag, but there was just a lot and it didn't feel organized. So I threw everything in a Ziploc bag and any other snacks will be able to fit in here because I have a whole heck of a lot of space that I can throw extra water bottles. The um, I also have a tank bottle that was supposed to come and did not arrive today. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> so I might have to run to good old Fleet Farm tomorrow morning, but um, I want to have that extra gas on me. But I've got the vest in here and the extra layer for my motorcycle jacket. So that's that layer. And then this bottom portion here, which I think is actually zipped up on this side. Yep, it is. Will house, because I'm not going... I'm not staying anywhere, hopefully I'm not staying anywhere, I don't need to, but I've got my tent and then I've got the blanket and pillow, um, army will be blanket if anybody knows what that is, it's amazing, compacts really really tight down in here so if I need at all to set up camp for any reason whatsoever I just have the pop up one person tent and a blanket and a pillow, will give me enough comfort for a couple hours if I need to take a rest for that sake. So that is that side. And then to move on to this side, this is housed all of my like apparel, my clothes. So opening up this, I have things that on top that I'll need the most. So of course, when it gets down into those temperatures on Lake Superior, it's gonna get a little cold. It shouldn't get too bad. It's like s mid sixties, I think. So not too outrageous is what I was looking at, but chaps are in here. I stole my husband's high visibility PT belt that will go around my waist when I'm riding at night just to give me an extra level of visibility for people riding at night that aren't watching where the hell they're going. I don't know. It's always good to have. My night riding gloves and then I've got my extra pair of gloves, the mask if I need to and then in the back, I don't know if you can see, is I've got my down um, Columbia jacket if I really really truly need that and then my extra set of clothes so like today I had to change <laughs> out of my clothes to put on something else that this will be good for uh, just another option if I need to so that is that let's see if I can roll this up as nicely as when I put it back in there chaps and belt so not much room left on this guy, but that's okay. I'd rather have the clothes I need if I have to stay anywhere available to me. And just in this small pouch here, it's not a lot, but just the miscellaneous odds and ends. So the puck for the kickstand, um, riding clears if I need them, and then my brush for that sake. So yeah, that is really truly it guys for my bike and what I'm taking on this challenge <laughs> like I said I'm not going really long a long distance and staying a long time I'm only going 24 hours so I don't need a lot but I want to be prepared if I do have to stay anywhere up in the UP um, make it somewhat enjoyable <laughs> if I can't complete that challenge so that is it and if there's anything else you think of that I am missing put it in the comments down below here in this video I'd love to know um, if you guys have done an iron butt or any long distance endurance traveling before love to get your feedback on things that I may have missed because of course I haven't done the actual challenge yet that will be tomorrow but um, I'll of course might find things that um, could have been helpful but it's all a learning experience I'm starting 
from ground zero, I'm working my way up, but I feel very prepared with what I've got going on. And I wanted to share this guys with you because I don't have a large touring bike. <laughs> I've got my little sporty. I've got the fat boy over there, but unfortunately that guy's leaking oil and the bars are like 20 inch bars and not comfortable for me to ride for long distances. So that one's just a cruiser. <laughs> This guy's m really made out to be f more for my sake and what I'm comfortable riding on. So yeah, I, <laughs> I've been excited and I'm hopefully we'll say this all the way through, but I'm excited to try this challenge and be out on the bike for quite a long period of time. But I have wanted to do this for so long that it's actually really here. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Um, let me know in the comments below just your feedback on this. You think I'm crazy? Do you think I'm going to make it? Do you think I'm not prepared? Am I overly prepared? <laughs> it's good to kind of get that conversation going because I'd love to hear more from you guys. So yeah, we shall see you out on the road tomorrow. All right. Bye guys.